What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab YouTube channel. And on today's episode, I'm going to answer the question that everybody, and myself included, has been asking, what does the vet cart weigh? So yeah, usually the number one question that I get from somebody that doesn't know me or hasn't seen it before is, first of all, what is it? Well, that one's easy for me to answer. It's a vet. You know, okay, no big deal. Then the second question that almost everybody asks is, how much does this thing weigh? And, you know, it's a pretty valid question, you know, because everybody that messes with cars knows that it's all about power to weight ratio. So the heavier the car, the slower it's going to be with the exact same amount of horsepower and the lighter the car, the less horsepower it takes to go just as fast as the heavy cars. So even though I got this thing running there a while back, I haven't been able to actually get this thing to the scale because I haven't had all the parts and pieces on it. I had it just kind of running and, you know, barely stuck together when I took it down and did some donuts with it and stuff because, you know, I had to have a little bit of fun with it to keep the motivation up, right? Well, anyways, I've got pretty much everything all together now. I've got the seats bolted in, the harnesses in, phone ringing. Sorry about that. That's basically been the story for the last couple of months is uh, everything just keeps kind of popping up and I haven't got it done yet and then it's been cold and I haven't really had much desire to work on it because I couldn't get it out when it's snowing and 20 degrees out anyways. I know, blah, 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 excuses, excuses. Well, all right, so back to where I was at. Basically, everything's all pretty well together. So let me go ahead and give you guys kind of a little quick walk around of it and um, you can see what all's got done and uh, the little tiny bit that's left. And I think we're going to be probably ready to go to the scales today. So we'll be able to answer that question as to what does the vet cart weigh. All right, I'm going to start at the back. On the back, we've got tail lights in. And in the tail lights, there is turn signals and there is brake lights and there is a backup light. So we're going to be actually all legal there. Up here underneath the uh, bar right here, I do have a uh, LED strip in there. So I'm going to have a tag light. So all that makes that pretty well street legal there. I've got dirt all over everything, but all these back panels here are all in. Everything's riveted down, needs a good bath, but past that, everything's pretty good. After doing the burnout down there, I pretty well hosted off the back tires. So I found some other tires and these actually end up being a 20 off of a pickup so they're pretty good size um, I forget what they are let's see a 275 55 20 so they're actually pretty good size I think they measure close to like 32 inches tall so right there in that wheel well I had to take sledgehammer to it just a little bit to get those to fit but they're on there I did that because I've got 20 inch wheels and I got it's like eight or ten of these tires for pretty darn cheap so they're gonna be what's on there for a minute just till I can burn those off and run out of those the seats are now actually bolted in before they were just kind of flopping around in there and I got some Corbo harnesses in there they're not really quite right the way that they're in there because the seats aren't quite right but this first go around is kind of a budget deal so they're there and kind of legal so we're gonna call that good enough for the moment. I made a top for this dash. I did not, however, make one for the inside. On the inside, I'm still a little unsure what I'm doing there. I'm waiting on some parts and pieces to uh, come in that I bought the other day to be able to finish that up. I'm gonna have kind of a iPad type thing in the middle and the rest of my switches and stuff. So. Not sure how that's all gonna play out yet. I gotta get everything sitting here so I can finish that all up. Everything on the motor is done. It's pretty well good to go. Even that big ugly air intake that sticks up there. Can't wait till the car's turboed and that's gone cause that thing is hideous. It drives me insane. Front tires are still the same tires. Body panels up here are all also in. I am missing the one piece up here in the front that's kind of a little cowl type thing that I'm putting in over here and covering that up it's gonna be the piece that bolts in and out so I can access the radiators and the fan and stuff through there that panel there is actually riveted in so it'll bolt to it grills in just some expanded metal on that 
and I've got some headlights that's what I've got to finish up today they are basically just a big giant LED got those right there sorry put that down but yeah big giant LED it's gonna go in that hole I've got to make some kind of bracket to be able to bolt it in there so I'm gonna knock that out here pretty quick and I am waiting on some more fans I just ordered yesterday. So the one fan that I have in there isn't quite big enough. Didn't figure it was gonna be, but you know, it's what I had. Had another fan, guess I should pull this out. Okay, can't pull it out with one hand. I'm gonna mess up the radiator. But anyways, that fan is a little bit too big. It's sitting on the sway bar down there. You can't really see it, but then it's sticking up on this side, so. That's terrible. So the ones I ordered are small enough to actually fit in there and put two of them in side by side and be a little bit more appropriate for what it is we're doing. Other than that, pretty well everything is together on it. I've got some side mirrors on it even. They are a pretty cool mirror. They're off of a side by side. They're not actually off of anything. They're for a side by side, how about that? They're an aluminum, and they usually have a cage mount that mounts over there on that end, but I didn't really like the way the cage mount was, and I had that plate there already because I was planning on putting a mirror off of that plate, so I just popped a hole in there, and bam, we got mirrors. Scoot back here enough where you guys can get a good view of the car. And now that you guys are all caught up, I'm going to knock out these headlight brackets and get them mounted up and take this thing for a cruise. So here it is with the headlights in. I went ahead and threw the panel up there that I've made to uh, cap off that piece up there above the radiators. Obviously that's not done yet. I need to get some paint on that and get the sides of it trimmed up and everything to where it'll bolt on good. But uh, that's what it's basically going to look like when it's all said and done. And I think we've got enough stuff on there now where we can actually go get a weight of it and see what this thing's going to weigh. We're only going to be a couple pieces of tin and an iPad and... A little bit of wiring away from having this thing to where it's going to be at its full weight so i think that's going to be good enough to get us an idea so it turns out the sound quality in an open air car with a gopro pretty well sucks but that's all right so i just deleted the sound off this part and i'll just talk over it basically what happened is i left the shop and was trying to figure out a place to go weigh the car and uh, it's kind of late in the day on saturday since i messed around putting those lights in and stuff so there really wasn't many places to go other than the only place I could think of was the landfill. And I thought, hell, I pay all my taxes on multiple pieces of property here in town. So that scales as much as mine as it is anybody else's, right? And they shouldn't complain if I go out there and just run across it real quick just to get a quick wait. So that's what I did. Went out there, pulled up on the scale, and they've got the uh, actual weight of whatever it is you're weighing displayed out there on the outside of the building. So pulled up there and 
let the guy know around the window that I was just there to try to get a quick wait. And I thought that I would grab a photo of the wait for you guys so you could see it for yourself. But turns out that photo kind of sucks because of the sun, couldn't actually read it. But long story short, I got it and uh, started heading back to town. And I got to thinking about it. I'm like, well, there's a highway right around here. So I haven't actually had this thing up to any highway speeds or anything. So I thought, what the hell? I'll go ahead and run around the corner over here and jump on the highway and do a couple little easy pulls on it. Nothing crazy or illegal or anything like that, but just kind of shifting through the gears and seeing how everything acts and operates at highway speeds. So I'll show you guys a couple clips of that real quick. finally have a number for us so we can actually know what this thing is going to weigh. But real quick, before I tell you guys what it is, would you pause the video and go down in the comments and let me know what you guys think it weighs. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. I've had a bunch of people guessing all over the board already and I want to see what you guys here on YouTube think. So don't skip ahead, don't cheat, just actually go down there and leave us a wait and see how close you are. And one last thing before I tell you, if you guys have enjoyed following along with this build, you're going to want to go down and hit the subscribe button so you're going to get to see all the videos coming up here in the next few months because that's when I'm going to go have some fun with this thing. I'm going to go try to do some different racing with it and uh, driving around, hit some events and things like that, so you guys are not going to want to miss out on that. So hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell beside it so you get the notifications. All right, so now what we've been waiting on, what does it weigh? And the drum roll, please, 2,500 pounds. That's what the car weighs without me in it and with it out having a whole bunch of fuel in it. So I went across the scale. The scale read 2880. Now, I hate to admit it, but 280 of that is about right here, okay? I need to go on diet, all right. I don't need to hear all that. Anyways. Then I went and filled up full fuel before I went out there. So it's got right at 15 gallons of fuel in it when I went across the scale. I only drove about five miles before I got to the, to the scale. So I don't think I used hardly any of that. So we're gonna look at right around 100 pounds-ish of fuel and then my 280, that's gonna put it right at the 2,500 pound mark. All right, so there you have it. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier than what I was kind of planning originally. But I knew once I rolled it across the scale when it was just the bare chassis and just the basically a rolling chassis at that point and it weighed 1,200 pounds that I was pretty well screwed at trying to get it to the number that I was hoping it was going to be in the first place. But having that said, um, we still dropped some weight off the darn thing. It was 3,200 I think is what it was empty before. So um, that's not bad. And we've bumped up the horsepower some. I mean, we're still nowhere near the max horsepower that this thing's gonna have when it's all said and done, because I am still planning on turboing it and camming it and all that fun stuff and trying to bump up the power about two or three times more than what it is right now. The next video is gonna be the next question that everybody always asks me, and that is, how much money do you have in that thing? So I'm gonna sit down over the next few days and try to figure out exactly where I'm sitting on this thing. And we're gonna do that video and do a cost breakdown of all that. So if anybody was to start thinking about doing something like this themselves, they can have an idea of where they're gonna be at. And that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.